and you are coming along today with me on a yard sale trip. Yes, my hair is wet because there's no time to dry your hair in the morning of yard sales. There is no time. My phone is on the fritz again, so we'll see how much I can actually capture because it's blinking green at me. I like that frame. This is modern, but I'm getting it because it's so cute. Search your time. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done for a minute. Hey, Cindy, can you put this back on the table somewhere? Yeah, you don't like summer. Okay, guys, first yard sale that I stopped to was a good one. I got this coach purse for, I think it was $2. So this nice straw coach purse with the the key fob on it for two dollars so that's great i got this clock that i'm keeping for myself it's just a wooden clock it was also two dollars i got just a bathing suit cover up for myself this is a railroad stein made by american art something i can't read the bottom of it but it just has all these different railroad logos on it and it was 25 cents. Got a vintage linen tablecloth for 75 cents. I got these um, Star Wars salt and, sh salt and pepper shaker. It's the Stormtrooper and Darth Vader. They were 50 cents. They're modern, but I think that they're, they're still value there that I'll be able to sell. I got some thank you cards I use for my packages and they were a dollar. There's 16 of them in there. And I got this little piggy. He's modern, but I think he'll look cute with some succulents in him for myself. I got this little vintage Christmas mousy. He was $2, but he is so cute. Uh, he was worth $2 to me. I probably will end up keeping him. And lastly, I got these other salt and pepper shakers. They are Hallmark. They just have an X and an O, and they were also 50 cents. And they are Hallmark on the bottom. So that's what I got. I spent $10 at the sale. It was a good one. I think I will more than make my money back on the purse. Don't forget her number. You guys remember Millie Vanilli? Hey, it's not looking very promising. Turn my radio down. It's not looking very promising for yard sales today, guys. There's only a couple that are even in the paper. The majority of them are tomorrow. I mean, I'm going tomorrow too, but I like to go on Fridays as well. So I'm heading to the church sale. Uh, that's about 20, no, it's probably about 10 minutes away. So I'm heading to that and hopefully it will be worth my drive. 
we shall see. Usually there's It's so pretty out here though, really. Okay. So there's the cemetery there. And here's the community building. The church. Oh. Okay, find some good stuff. I don't know if it's on both sides or not. Could I lay these things down here somewhere? Yeah, it looks <laughs> This is a shout out for my girl D at the Thrill of the Thrift. This is her place. This is for my girl Nicole at Nesting Haven. Well, I'm just finding stuff for all to represent all you guys. Today. This is going to be so, I think it's two dollars. I kind of like this treasure craft, but man, that would be something to show. It's a chip. Dip bowl. Okay, so it was not, it was a decent, it was a decent little church sale. I didn't get a whole lot. I spent $10 and I'll show you what I got. I got a little quilt duck. I sell these in the shop. This was a dollar um, and I'll probably put like $5 on this in the shop. So a little quilt duck made out of an old quilt and a quilt goose. They were each a dollar. I got this little basket uh, for a dollar, which I'm going to keep in my car. It's a collapse, collapsible basket, but I'm going to keep it in my car just to like throw things in when I, little odds and ends, and then I can take it in when I need to. This was also a dollar. It is a vintage nylon coat. 
think my daughter will want this but uh, these are kind of all the rage right now so I picked that up for a dollar I'll see how it goes I don't know I've not sold one before so I'll, I'll see and then I just got this little this shirt for myself it's just a navy blue with like seersucker um, sleeves on it you can't really tell because the camera angle is horrible right now uh, and then I got this ornament Hallmark ornament it was 50 cents it's I like Hallmark ornaments and look at this. Look at how cute this is. This was dated 19, or 19, 2005. But look at it, it's just a little baby, little Tykes baby swing. So I got that for me. I'm not getting a whole lot for resale, it seems like. But I'm a sucker for Hallmark ornaments. And then I got two packs of these vintage Hallmark invitations. <clears throat> I think they're awesome. Um, and if there's not any worth to these, I still like to put these in um, my packages. They're just really neat vintage, that yellow and avocado green. I always do well with these. I always pick them up when I get them cheap. Are these little Radica? The Radica brand is the ones to look out for. These are the ones that do really well. It works just fine. Blackjack 21 Radica. And I have like four or five of these that I'm thinking I'm going to sell as a lot. And then I paid a quarter for this. It is just a little, it's not real brass, but it just says small change. Um, I've seen a several of these sell on Poshmark, so this is something that I'm looking out for that I can put on my Poshmark, in my Poshmark closet. So, that was all I got at that sale for $10. So, not a whole lot of great stuff, but I did okay. Okay, well, we're going to see if we can find another one. Okay, so that was a good sale. I spent $15 at the sale and I got a watering can that I needed for myself. Um, and I got this whole tub of these Disney Infinity pieces. Um, I bought a several, another lot of these and we haven't listed them yet, but I, these aren't looking familiar to me, so I think I have different ones. But it is all these Infinity pieces. I would say there's probably 20 of them in here and a pad and two games. Uh, and I paid $6 for the whole tub. So there is that. And I also got 
an Xbox Connect, and 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 it was a dollar, so I thought that was worth getting. And then also these games were a dollar each. There's Connect Adventures, Star Wars, and Disneyland Adventures, which seems a little interesting to me. So those were a dollar each. I got these three DS games. They were $2. There is Ninja Turtles, Ninjago, and Angry Birds Star Wars. And this little case. So those were $2. I do well with these little Eeyore plushes or Disney plushes. I have something in mind for this one. If you're watching, you know who you are. So it was a dollar from a Disney store. It's so cute. It's a little Valentine's Day poo. New with the tag. And I got this. I'm going to try these. These are the Sleep Styler. So you put these in your hair and you wake up and you have curly, bouncy hair. We'll see. It was a dollar. And it is for long, thick hair, which I have. And it was, it was recommended by um, the girl from Shark Tank. What was her name? Laurie? her that girl this girl right here so it's just something to try and that's that's what I got at that sale so I think I did pretty good on those connect games we'll see if anything my son will be happy that I got them all right try and find another one see ya all right on onward as I like to say and I was I just got done filming the stuff that I got at that sale and there was a guy in the car behind me looking at me like who are you talking to you crazy woman little does he know that I'm talking to you people okay so this little road here is a cul-de-sac so I'm gonna turn around and it's 941 so I have just a little bit of time about an hour before I have to go before I have to open up the shop so I'm gonna drive a little bit more and see what I can find and then pick something up to eat and then head to the shop and open up the shop so that was what my Friday is going to be today I hope that we're busy today we were very busy last Friday what I need to do at the shop today and I'm gonna to try to film myself doing it is I need to get the 4th of July decorations down and I say decorations but I also mean um, the 4th of July items to sell. Uh, I do have two or three, three display windows that I need to get decorated. Uh, our town has a 4th of July parade that runs right in front of our shop. So I like to have it decorated nice for that with some reds and some blues and some patriotic pieces that I have. So I'm going to try to work on that today. Um, and I have a couple sections in the shop that are driving me crazy because I don't like the way that they're set up So I need to reconfigure that a little bit. I was really hoping to be able to do a live Video while I'm at the shop But until I reach my 1,000 subscribers, I cannot go live on my cell phone And I really don't feel like bringing my laptop to the shop so I'm close. I'm at almost 900 subscribers. So hopefully soon I'll reach that 1000 threshold and I'll be able to take my phone to the shop and we'll be able to easily go live and do some live um, staging demonstrations, which is what and that might not be the, the complete correct wording for it, but I want to be able to pull together some things to do a little bit of staging um, just to give you ideas on different things that you can do in your antique booths uh, or even at home. It's not been too busy here yard sale related today. Tomorrow is going to be the day. Tomorrow is going to be the day and there's a couple church sales tomorrow that I am so excited about. I love church sales. They're my favorite. Favorite.
never wrecked. Now when my kids were little and I, we would go to yard sales every Saturday, my husband and I and our kids, and I was looking for totally different things then. I was looking for clothing for my kids or toys. At that time I was teaching preschool and I also, um, I had a daycare as well. And so I was mainly looking for, no, that's not a sign. I was mainly looking for, you know, clothing and toys for my kids and things for my preschool. And so I didn't really like church sales then because it was all old people things. And that sounds bad. I don't mean it to say, I'm not trying to be disrespectful in any way, shape, or form, but it was old people things. It was collectibles and figurines and old clothing. Things that I want now. Let's see, here's a garage. No. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So, I went here last year. This is a little flea market. It's a really hole in the ground flea market. I mean, it really is, but ah! This is what I've been wanting to do. I've been wanting to go to a flea market. So this is a small one, which is perfect because I don't have a whole lot of time. So we're going to go junkin'. Come with me. couple more things here um these linens that this didn't have a price on it and the lin linens didn't have a price or the tablecloth towels didn't have a price on them they want a quarter on that bill okay that's a quarter okay that one, that's a quarter. and i'm not done looking but I'll, right. i'm gonna keep looking around have a price on it. It'd be a dollar. Okay. It look cute with succulents in it. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. I have never been in here before. I've never been here before. I don't 
I'm looking for clothing. So the only clothing that I want are the t-shirts. Old mobile. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. I never knew this place was here, and it's literally down the road from me. What time is it? 10.09. Don't have all the time in the world, but I'm definitely going to look. No clear glassware for me. Okay. These are all patterns. Sewing. Fabric. Hello. These are all clear glass though, so it doesn't do anything for me. But I do like to look at the drinking glasses to see if there's any vintage. Not seeing any. Now I'm sure this place has been picked before. <laughs> Many times, but mugs. Mugs on a spinning rack. Mugs on a spinning rack. Look at this. This is glorious. Okay, so let's see if we can find this is milk glass, but it's nothing. Happy 39th birthday. I need that one to drink every birthday. It's my 39th birthday. Okay, this is restaurant wear, but common. Not seeing anything special. nursing homes. Although that is a cool little vintage Kings Island tray. But it's got damage there. Kings Island is an amusement park in Cincinnati. It's pretty popular. Let's forget to take you guys up here with me. Okay, so here's a Starbucks mug, but it is very chipped. Congratulations on your retirement. Here's another restaurant wear mug. Everyone needs tender loving heart. Okay, this is made by US Concepts and this is a Florida faux pas. Exposing wider than your teeth. Oh, exposing skin wider than your teeth. Uh, that's kind of funny, but... There's the Mirage in Las Vegas. Fill your day with rainbows. I know that it sounds like I'm just flopping these around. I'm really not. wise that I want. Let's look on the side. Again, I am sure this has been picked through. Here's a there's a dinosaur in that mug, but there's also a little pen, but this is Michelin. I don't think that it's so dark in here. This is a thermoson, so it is vintage. Mug glass mug. 
Let's scan on this side. This is a pretty, yeah. It's Mills Utility Wear. It's in pretty rough shape. And Regis, who wants to be a millionaire. I used to love that show. Milk glass. That's not Okatari. <gasps> Look what I found. Blue bow dots. I'll have to let you check in this place out from time to time. Some more mugs. I'm very somewhat. I say I'm very picky, being somewhat picky. But what I'm picking up. This is pretty neat. I wish it had more. Does it have another one? I wish that one glass had another glass with it. That would have been cool, but just one. Is it going to be one that's going to be easy to sell? So, cassette tapes, CDs. I mean, it's just everything you can imagine. It's really a neat chair. Okay. No cruel pieces for me. Not today. Oh, the Christmas stuff is my weakness. I like her. She's plastic. She's a little plastic angel. the quarter store. Oh. It's a scary sand in now. All of this paint's gone. If you find these mugs and you wash them in your sink, all of the paint will go away. So don't do that. Although I do like scary Santa, so I'm actually going to get him, believe it or not. Because I like weird scary face Santas. See, this is plastic here too, and it's supposed to have a lot of light in it. It probably had other pieces that went to it. What's this kitty cat? Kitty cat magnet. Oh lord, I'm gonna have to look through that. See, I like these old nativity pieces too. He's a corker. He's made in Japan. I'll put him in my cup. Okay. I'm getting this. It's modern. It has a Target sticker on it. But look at the graphics on it. I like it. Guys. Okay. So I just left this little flea market called the Quarter Store. And they have it every Thursday through Saturday. So I will definitely go back there. They were there were a ton of clothes in there, and I'm sorry that I had to shut you off, but I had my hands full and I couldn't look, and I was getting a little crabby. So I was almost done anyway. But yeah, they had a lot of clothing in there that I'm not. I don't even want to look through. The only ones that I would look through would be something that I would see that would be vintage. So I didn't spend any time looking at the clothing and I am running out of time now. I'm heading to the shop now to open. It's 1041 and I open at 11. So I'm running a little, running a little behind, but there was some decent stuff in there and I'm going to do a haul at home. I tried to do the haul that I stopped at yard sales as I went, but I'm not going to have time. So I will do a haul on what I got at this little flea market and I have been itching to go to a flea market and this is a very small one and there wasn't a lot there but I was able to get out and do a little bit of hunting like I wanted to do and now I'm on my way to the shop and hopefully it'll be a good day but I'm super excited about some of the things that I found. I found a creepy Santa which I love. Uh, I found 
a couple Christmas things and those wide mouth frogs. There was one thing that I showed you in the video. It was a beautiful brass um, mailbox cover. It was very Art Deco. I thought it was marked $2.50, but it was marked $25. So I didn't get that. Have a good day, guys. I will see you in my next video.